All right, so this is I'm going first. Good, and this is it. Our backs are against the wall, and the, and the um, our backs are against the wall in the first. I mean, this is a good creature curve. I know what he's playing. He's playing Yol Decay, but I think we want, if we're, if he's playing Yol Decay, we want a one or two drop, and we do get it. I'll sack the damage curse. Mm. I'll sacrifice the damage curse. Um. Yeah, so we're our backs against the wall. We had to choose uh, our modern decay deck because our um, counter, our counter energy order structure deck to Blinky's old decay backfired, and uh, yeah, that was that. So we're gonna try to even it up here, and so far so good. I'm gonna sack this Ripper. Too bad I didn't have it for turn run, turn one, and now I'm gonna be able to soul steal you in the next turn, Curse Monger. So pretty solid start to the game for me. And um, he gets a bog hand out. It's not soul stealable. That's a little annoying. Uh, Damagers. I don't want to sack both Damagers. But he, I know he has so many things that are able to be soul stolen. So yeah, I'm going to sack both Damagers. If he plays like a Harvester that I have to deal with, I might be a little screwed. Okay. Um, so we won game one. He won game two. And he won game three, and this is game four. Now, I'm going to sack the Soul Steel and go for the Monger, the Curse Monger. And now, let's see, probably has got an easy alliance to be able to kill my tribesmen. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to force a game five. We're down in the series. Okay. Ooh, that's tough. Witch Doctor's so good. And I have humans on the field, too. But I really want to get the Oblivion Seeker out this turn. I'm getting the Oblivion Seeker out. And, um, let's see. So... How can we make this work? I guess we can go like this. Okay. But now it's a four attack rod eater. And now I almost wish we had our damage curses back, but by now I think we would have lost our damage curse. Like we would have had the second by now to keep the one creature turn going. Okay. So hopefully we can get something bad, then we sack up our cards and we get stuff good. That's the plan in scrolls, right? Down in the series. Three two, two to one. And this is game four, and we are in a must-win situation, or we lose the first specified series of three. Which means to be blinky overall, we have to win the next two best of five series. Okay. Did not I did not think Yolo Decay would be um a force in deck wars. <laughs> uh just thinking it out. I, I, I want him to come my oblivion seeker. Because I have no cards right now. But he probably is thinking the same thing, probably just needs to do idle damage if he's Yolo Decay. Okay, he's going for him. That's probably what you should do. And Watcher, I'll sack. And I got another Watcher and a w w Witch Doctor. It's pretty good. I got a Witch Doctor. And what do I want to do? Do I do want to do? Do I want to do three damage to this um, to this Curse Monger? We're going to curse the Curse Monger and have this. Or curse something else. We are going to deal three damage to that curse monger. And you know what? I'm not gonna play the watcher. Okay, the watcher doesn't do much for us right now. So now let's see what he does. 
close. Now I wish I had my damn curses, like I said. But a witch doctor will be pretty nice. Probably sack the watcher to play the witch doctor. We'll see what he can do here. Probably be able to kill his curse monger. I don't know what else though. It's gonna be hard because I might have to. It's gonna be hard to survive a harvester. Harvester incoming. We can try. And regenerator. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna sack the washer, play the witch doctor now. And. I'll do it like this. So now you're definitely gonna hit. You can hit there. And I'll go like that. Okay, so now he has two big threats, and I only have one more damage curse in the deck. We're gonna have to throw a brain lice because we do have a curse mark on the field. Does he have a way to make his harvester go off this turn? He only has four resources. I don't think he has a way to make his harvester go off this turn. So I like how it worked. we kind of got away a little bit with our uh, running away. Our witch doctor will be safe from the harvester if we want. Hopefully, I'm not even sure if his deck has damage curse. I didn't see a damage curse the last the last three matches. Or wait, yeah. The last two matches, yeah. He he won with the other guy. Last two matches. I didn't see a damning curse, I don't think. So I'm not even sure if he runs them. Up. Oh, oh damning curse on him. Hmm. Not a bad decision. Maybe he has another damning curse. That might be it. He might have another damning curse. Hmm. Okay, he moves down. So hopefully I can get like a. Uh, I don't even know. I'm kind of against the wall here. I'm kind of against the wall. Okay, he kills that. He moves down. We do get the brain lice, so it was very smart for him to kill, uh, to damn and curse my, um, curse monger, because I would have been able to kill him with that brain lice. Hmm. Very nice, very nice. And now, now what do I do? I don't want to get poisoned. I'm going to sack the Starkling for cards. I got a Harvester of my own, that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and Brain Lice you. Because I don't want to get poisoned. Or do I Brain Lice you, because I have to take you down. I'll Brain Lice you. Or not yet, I don't know. I'll move you down. I'll take the poison, I'll take the poison. I'll put the harvester here. And I'll put the blight bearer here. Um. Not entirely sure what to do. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll go with a. So we'll take the poison. I'll go with a uh, brain lice on the harvester soon. He won't be able to do a ton of idle damage, even though he has a harvester going off. I mean, he can't do a bunch of other damage if he decides to just kill this thing up here, but I don't think he will. I need an alliance. Oh boy. He's gonna use Unleasy Alliance to his on my units to his advantage, isn't he? He's gonna put on like my harvester and on my witch doctor and kill one of them, the other one's gonna die. Very, very, very nice. 
Ooh, got another brainless man. For that curse monger didn't guy, that'd be nice. He was very smart to so use his um damage curse on the right place. Uh So I'd like to draw a damage curse right now. Let's sack the tribesmen for cards. I don't draw a damage curse, but this rod eater is gonna be buffed by these two guys dying now. And I'm gonna just get the brain lice on this harvester. And I'm gonna let him destroy my blight bear. So hopefully he does not have a damning curse on my harvester. Be kind of sad, but it's not a huge deal anyways. I mean, it's not attacking anything but an idol, but idols do matter. In fact, idols is destroying idols is how you win the game. Those that easy alliance thing was a very nice play, but it did use two cards to to. Uh, I mean, he has to use two cards to kill my guy, and he is down at four resources. So he's not able to make, like, monster plays just yet. Okay, good. My Harvester is going to be able to attack. And that guy's poisoned. And then we have five, five guys, and then we have two big threats on the field. Pretty good. Um, our, we're going to sack this Hunter because language just neutralizes him. Another Harvester. I'm going to move up. Get that. Brainless and him wouldn't eventually kill him because he could just move this harvester back so it does the job. I'm gonna go ahead and I don't want these guys to be in the same countdown necessarily, my two harvesters. Maybe I do. And eh, whatever I do. I'll go harvester. Raltita. Okay. So, I'd say my board looks a little scarier than his, and I probably have a better card advantage. So, right now I think I like how I stand in this game, even though he had some nice some nice plays. Somehow I think we're I think we're a little bit ahead. I think. Uh Let's see. He's tucking his rod eater behind that, so it'd be nice to get like a soul steal so we can soul steal the harvester away so I can take down that rod eater. If not, I might have to run away a little bit. Oh, my harvester's up there. Ooh. I don't want him doing too much idle damage. I mean, we, we've done a, we're doing a bunch of idle damage too. We might be able to win with a necker gun kind of soon. Okay, so now a soul steal won't be enough, and we get a necker gun. I'm gonna hold on to that. That is going to be good. Okay, we're gonna run away here. Yes, we're gonna run away. I'm gonna sack the river for cards. Or the living secret for cards. Sack the river. We get two brain laces. I'll play both those brain laces. I'll play it in this, so this guy's gonna die to uh, poison eventually. And I will put this on. this thing so it's kind of weaker and those are all our brain laces I believe we're gonna move our harvesters down I know that's maybe not the best thing to do because now um, we're not like threatening his guys with our harvesters but I don't even think we need to I think maybe doing more idle damage here is gonna be better so I can win soon He does the hex marks. Hex marks. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> uh. I'm scared. 
I have a double knocker again. Do I do it? Even though I have huge things on the board. Probably has a loyal darkling. Do I do a double knocker again? I can clear his board. No, I can't clear his board. I can kill his stuff almost. Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna knock again right now. I'm gonna sack this Oblivion Seeker for cards. I'm gonna go. We lose this game if he has a Damage Curse in his hand. We lose this. That was a great play by him. Well played if he can kill me here. Triple Necker again. GG. He gets the win. We lose the first series in four games. We have a triple Necker again in our hand. Oh yeah, we too dark. We were very close to winning that match. But he had an amazing Hex Marks Iron Bile play. And I give him credit for that. That was really nice. So we lose the first. We lose the first um, best of five. But we will come back. We'll try to come back. So it's going to be tough.